An average day for Sarah involves some pouring, some serving, and some sexual harassment. Hey, Blondie, how you doing? Good, relax, relax, you're so jumpy. Listen to me, you wanna make money in this job? You uh, unbutton a little bit, show a little more cleavage, okay? Brian, I'm not really comfortable. Well, hey, look, if you're not comfortable, I'll go to the strip club down the street, get another ditzy blonde to do the job. If you saw a female bartender being demeaned... Don't get emotional on me now, honey. Come on. ...and manhandled by her sexist boss, what would you do? Today, we're at Old Man Rafferty's in New Brunswick, New Jersey. All right. Sweetheart. You're done, I want to show you how to pour. Okay. Right, baby? When Brian closes in... Just relax. This woman reacts. Yeah, that's it. That's good. Good job, baby. Good job. Nice. OK, relax. And when he steps away, she leans in to help. When our manager returns... How's Blondie doing? She answers with how he's doing. I think you're being a little inappropriate with her. What do you, what do you mean? Touching her the way you were, she looked extremely uncomfortable. Well, how did I touch her? On her waist, moving her hair back. She kept pushing away from you. Um, that's clearly body language for do not touch me. <laughs> Your advice to women who undergo this sort of thing? If you're uncomfortable, you need to do something about it. Speak up. And don't let someone talk down to you. Have self-pride. You're in charge of your own life. We're rolling again. I thought you women were supposed to be good at cleaning. What kind of wife are you going to make if you can't clean the kitchen? Right away, his behavior sparks a reaction from this mother and her family. Mm, no, I don't like that. What think? Where's that coming from? They try to laugh him off. <laughs> I thought women were like natural cleaners, just mm, like okay. speaking span. Okay, go to the other side of the bar. <laughs> <laughs> like, like eat your yeah, breakfast really. off any Don't point of it. Yeah, no, not a good influence in front of my daughter. But then laughter turns to disgust. Are you going to get emotional now? Should I have hired a man to do the job? Yeah. I mean, I can't have you cry on the job. Can I help you? No, no, we're just going to get a check. Sure? Yep. Did she not do a good job? She's awesome. She's, she's awesome. awesome. She's not the problem. She's yeah. awesome. She's What's great. the problem? Look in the mirror. I think you'll figure it out. I'm trying to help her train her to give you That's good service. Just let me have a check. Don't you think? Please. Check. Before they can leave... Hi, ladies. How are you? I'm John Quinones. Oh! <laughs> it is not. Yes, it's what would you do? Don't oh. leave. <laughs> It was just inexcusable, and uh, something needed to be done. What do you want your daughters to learn from this? Never to accept this kind of behavior, and to yes. always speak out, not just for themselves, but for others. So if we see others in this kind of situation, they need to speak up, and they need to walk away. And back in the bar... Try it one more time. Do you have to touch me like that? I'm just, I'm just trying to help. You're beautiful. Speaking up is the special of the day. Hey, brother. We're checking this out. Yeah, what are you doing, man? You make the man comfortable. I'm trying to help you. No, no, no. You're harassing me. You're making her uncomfortable. You're making me uncomfortable. You're making me uncomfortable. Well, she's blonde. It takes a little it extra help. help. That's a it her. Thank you, buddy. Most people have no problem confronting our tormenting tyrant. But talk to her, don't, don't rub her, don't hold her. She's, she's beautiful, I can't keep my hands off. I could put mine on your nose. <laughs> She knows what, what she signed up for. I mean, yeah, it is yeah. a bar. It's not appropriate for you. I'm an HR professional, and I can tell you, if you did that to one of my workers, write you up for sexual harassment. Whether you're at a bar or not, it's inappropriate to do that. This man even begins managing the offensive manager. I just think I'm trying to train her, you know, with a little tough love. That's insulting and belittling. Treat 
training can be shown right at the end. Training would say, oh, you don't know the tap yet? Let's turn around and look at the taps and use the taps. And then telling her she's going to be a bad wife because she can't cut lemons? You really think these are legitimate things you can be saying to an employee? We roll one last time. Well, that's not, that's the, oh, Sarah, oh my God. Can you pour a beer? You think we can waste all this alcohol, Blondie? This woman is quick to choose signs. Then she offers the bartender a quick solution. I don't know what to do. And when her friend arrives, she immediately brings him up to speed. And he wastes no time before joining the resistance. There's a stain right in front of them. Go ahead, wipe it. Come on, you can think, Blondie. Wipe. It's very simple. Hey, dude, is that, is that how you talk to somebody like that? Like, I mean, Blondie? Well, what, what is that? This isn't your business. This is just it's my business. You don't treat people. I have a daughter. If you treat my daughter like that, you're not going to be in the back right now. OK, so back off. This is just, no, you don't treat people like that. What's wrong with you? I'm so embarrassed. Sorry. You don't need to be embarrassed. You need to be embarrassed. You're a jerk. Hi, guys. How are you? Hi, I'm dragging you on us. <laughs> Why does it get you so emotional? Because it's a young girl. You know, what can I do to help her? That someone in today's society would be treating a female or a person or anybody yeah. talking to them that way. So my heart was breaking for you. <laughs> I was ready to go in there and smack it, but I figured I'll wait, I'll wait for Let Angel to get here. Then Angel can jump over and hit him. <laughs>